Hey, Scotty here, and I just finished reading My Life at the Bottom of the Food Chain by Rich Samuels, someone who uh, I consider a friend, and uh, you know what? Um, I don't think this background's gonna work for this video. I'm gonna need something a little bit different. Hey, okay, so we're talking about the book My Life at the Bottom of the Food Chain. Now, I'm kind of sweaty, you know, it, it's hot outside, these lights in this room are pretty bright, but it kind of plays in too, because this book is about a couple middle schoolers, one person in particular, someone that I can relate to, um, I've talked to friends that can relate to this person, he's nervous, 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 I mean, I was the same way, I mean, I was, when I was in middle school, even elementary, I was I was so nervous. I mean, borderline paranoid, thinking I was a target, and and that that's this kid. Nervous, 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 nervous. Um, and we kind of follow him over the course of three days. I mean, he he's afraid of the students, the teachers. He's afraid of being picked. You know, the whole thing. I'm afraid of even just to raise my hand in class because I don't want to be that target. Are you saying that professors and other teachers shouldn't be calling on people at random? Really, like no one ever calls someone at random. You know, once you get out of that stage, it's different, but we're following people in this stage. And I give the writer Rich a lot of credit for being able to not only capture that feeling, but he also captures that that paranoia the the active imagination of someone in that age range of, of this character and it's it, it's crazy oh professor scotty professor scotty <laughs> <laughs> funny <laughs> right like you wouldn't do that <laughs> Look, I'm not a professor, and we're talking about this book here. So, bottom line, anyone could really read it. You know, the main character is like 12, 13. I think he's a 6th grader. I think a 6th grader could read this book. You know, so I'd say like 5th grade and up. It, soft back, it's only like 150 pages. It goes by real fast. And it's pretty cheap. You get it on the Kindle as well. Bottom line is, I give this book... You know, I, I give it some high regards here. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a comedy, but I have seen shows, you know, TV shows that try to do this in a show. And I feel like this book got it right. So it, it, it can be funny, but it, it, it's, it's worth the read. It, it's definitely worth the read. All right, so check out the rest of this channel. Yeah, I'm using this blue screen and I'm done with that for now.